Okay, we're gonna start with our Melanzano Rollatini with Parma Prosciutto. It's a fairly simple dish with a couple of little nuances to it that you, you have to uh, sort of pay attention to, so come on, check it out. Let's go over our mise en place real quick. So we're gonna have one whole eggplant, about a cup of sifted flour, a cup of milk with a little fresh nutmeg, some salt and pepper, six eggs, some ricotta, shredded mozzarella, and a, the best Pecorino Stradivecchio Romano you can find, a good piece of Parmesan cheese. We're gonna put a little fresh basil and some Parma prosciutto. Here I bought it already sliced. We're gonna start with a little milk, maybe a cup of milk, and we're gonna grind some fresh nutmeg into that. Pinch of sea salt, a little pepper, and we're gonna knead this mixture to uh, marinate the eggplant, sort of wetting it up so the flour will adhere to it, so the egg will adhere to it, so when we go to the pan down, glaze it, everything's gonna be hunky-dory. We'll start by cutting off the end of the eggplant. And trying to find the flattest side, so you'll have the, the least waste, you wanna get one good flat side to your eggplant. And trim it down about a quarter to an eighth of an inch thick. If you're having a lot of difficulty cutting it long, some guys like to lay it down flat and just bring it along about a quarter inch off the cutting board. Either way, you wanna end up between these two thicknesses. When your eggplant is cut, dredge it through this milk and nutmeg mixture and let it sit for about 20 minutes. In the meantime, we'll start putting together our, our anglaise mixture. We've got about a half cup of sifted flour, and we're just gonna add a little salt and pepper to that. Maybe three or four eggs. And then one of your eggs, just get the whites and reserve the yolk. Now the actual anglaise to the eggplant is gonna be egg yolk, salt, pepper, a little fresh basil, and some of this good Parmesan cheese. You're gonna want a pretty fine grate. So use the fine side of your, your grater when, when you're going into the egg mixture for this part of the dish. All right, so we've got four eggs minus one yolk and about three tablespoons of cheese there. A little salt and pepper and some basil. And that's good to go. Now, our eggplant has sat for about 20 minutes. Just pat the eggplant off on the sides to sort of relieve it of the excess milk. You don't want it so wet that the flour is gonna cake onto your cutlet. And then right into the egg mixture. All right, we've got our eggplant totally ready to saute. So, in a nice hot skillet, we'll add a little olive oil and begin sauteing the eggplant. Now you wanna let that go at a, at a pretty high heat. Just enough to get your cheese to brown without, of course, burning it. And once we start to get that nice, goldy, flaky around the edges here, then it's time to turn. Altogether, that cooked about 45 to 90 seconds on both sides, depending on the, the heat of your stove. Once we get the golden brown on both sides, we'll remove the eggplants and drain them on a nice paper towel. All right, we're gonna let that eggplant cool down for about five, 10 minutes. In the interim, we'll whip up the cheese mixture. All right, we've got about a cup of ricotta here, maybe a half cup of shredded mozzarella, and then again, we're gonna shred our good Parmesan cheese in. This time we can go a little fatter with the shred because we're just gonna mix all this together. So that's basically rolling two parts for got, one part mozzarella, one part Parmesan. A little salt and pepper to taste. For every cup of ricotta that you use, one egg yolk. And why don't we add a little fresh basil and that should be good to go. 
All right, eggplant's ready to go. So we're going to lay it out on our nice work surface here. And now we're going to cover the eggplant from the fat side down to the skinny side, but leave a little room at the edge of the fat side here. Almost home. We'll add the parma prosciutto, I'll roll them on up, and you're ready for dinner. All right, so there's a good, good, healthy portion of parm, parma prosciutto on those four. Now we'll start at the skinny end, roll it on up to the fat end, and you'll see how you're, just like making a Twinkie, your ragot will start to sort of come out on you on the back side there, but that's okay, that's what's going to glue it down. The rolling itself will help to spread the cheese evenly. Now this dish can be served with, with a plethora of different sauces. Uh, classically, marinara with a little grated cheese. That's the way I would serve it, because that's the way the chef who taught me how to make it served it. Um, if one wanted to do uh, a bachamel, a la pesto, um, a, uh, even a garlic and oil would be great. The trick is, though, not to overpower that good cheese or the subtle smoky taste of that wonderful parma prosciutto with whatever you're going to add to it. What do you say we try one out? Take a little of our good oil. Oil up a sheet pan a tad. And into a 400 degree oven. For about 15 to 20 minutes. Remember, the eggplant's already cooked. You just need to get all of that cheese to heat up and blend into in well together. All right, 18 minutes. And we've got some beautiful eggplant here. So heat up a little marinara. And we'll put a little sauce on the plate. Cut them on a little bit of an angle. Just want to try to show off that prosciutto. Eggplant rollatini, melanzano. Let me try this at home.